U.S. Army's Abrams tank vs. Rheinmetall's KF-51 Panther tank. The newly unveiled Rheinmetall KF-51 Panther tank is reported to be built with a 130mm future gun system, a weapon larger than the standard 120mm weapon used on the Abrams, something which raises questions about the extent to which the new platform represents a leap forward technologically. A recently published Popular Mechanics article says Rheinmetall claims the new gun has a 50% longer kill range, the new gun is a 130mm slash L52 gun 22.1 feet long. Abrams developers explain they have developed the technology for modular gun applications, meaning a 130mm cannon could be added on as needed. When it comes to lethality, it seems significant that the article on the Panther makes no mention of ammunition, as that is an area wherein there continues to be impactful innovations. The newer Abrams vehicles have an ammunition data link. Not only are there things like delayed fuses for added penetrating effects, proximity fuses for area detonation or point detonate kinds of round, but the Army has for many years now been developing its advanced multipurpose round for tanks. Also, the newly unveiled German-built Rheinmetall Panther KF-51 tank operates with the same amount of onboard power as its previous Leopard 2, according to multiple news reports tracking its release. This fact raises interesting questions about the new tank's ability to accommodate a rapidly changing and much increasing need for onboard power. Having the same amount of power as the Leopard 2 seems somewhat incompatible with the large amount of new electronics and digital computing reported to be built into the Panther, as integrating a new generation of exportable power has been among the most critical innovations for the U.S. Abrams. The Popular Mechanics article mentions that the Panther is engineered with 360-degree view surround sensors, something which enables tank crews to see obstacles and potential adversaries from any angle. However 360-degree sensing technology has existed in the U.S. Army and U.S. Air Force for many years. As far back as 2008, some of the Army's manned ground vehicles for its future combat systems programs were built with this 360-degree sensing, and vastly improved, paradigm-changing thermal targeting technology with the Abrams, why would there be a large margin of difference between the Panther and the Abrams? The M1A2 SEP V3 brings a new high-resolution display for gunner and commander stations and new electronic line replaceable units. One of the signature elements of the V3 pertains to longer range, higher resolution thermal sites for finding otherwise unreachable targets. This is the kind of technological capacity which can continuously be upgraded through common standards. As part of this kind of equation, the newest variants of the Army Abrams are engineered with common IP protocol and standards to enable new technologies to integrate quickly as they emerge. Thank you for watching please like, share, comment, and subscribe.